Good morning, guys. So, today is weigh-in. Wednesday, let's take these shoes off. I have been sick for the last, since Thursday. But, weigh-in Wednesday is weigh-in Wednesday. So, we're going to get on here and see what's going on. Let's try it like we did last week. Sorry if I I get it all. Oh, it's twisted around. I'll be looking at my crusty little ugly feet. Okay. There you have it, folks. There you have it. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. There it is. And the inside, I'm just going to enjoy. <sighs> hey, y'all. Hey. Okay, so I have not been feeling very well. And. Hopefully this volume is working. I, I mean, I don't know what else to do for it, but hopefully it's working. So, um, people only tell you, oh, this is the best decision of my life, or oh, I can't believe this, or I can't believe that. I am feeling like, why the hell did I do this to myself? Sorry if it's wibbly wobbly, because I have the shakes for some reason. But I'm not feeling very happy about my decision. We're going to talk about my hair later. I'm not feeling very happy about my decision. Everything I eat makes me nauseous. And everybody's like, oh, it's part of the process. But I got this, like, gurgly feeling. I have the hiccups all the freaking time. Um, so I called the nurse and she said that I have trap gas because I know this is TMI, but it's part of the process. And if you guys are on this journey as well or thinking about it, you need to know everything. And I ain't keeping secrets. But um, I haven't had a bowel movement in forever. I've been a uh, Friday before weeks post op, and I've only had three bad movements. Just I'm just gonna put it out there, and they're not they weren't back to back. I went and got some Malax, which I think is the wrong thing. I think she told me milk of magnesia, so I'm gonna call her today. I took my hair down the other day, and I thought I had enough strength to get in the shower and wash my hair. When I tell you that was the worst shower of my life, I didn't get to wash the way I wanted to wash my body. I got my hair washed, but it was a struggle. Felt like I was going to faint, y'all, in the shower. So I'm trying to hurry up and get out. Nauseous. Think I'm going to throw up. Um. So, yeah. Anyway, I switched my vitamins to these, which um is the same brand. <laughs> It's the same brand. However, I thought these was going to be better because oh, they stink. They chewables. I definitely cannot keep these down. I throw them up every time. But I was going to say, who had a cigarette in my house? This is the new vitamin. Remember, the other one was a huge capsule. Well, this is a huge tablet. Look how thick that is. Excuse the little furry stuff that come on. Look how thick that is. That's ridiculous. It's berry flavor, but baby, <laughs> the berry don't mean crap. You taste the iron and all the minerals, which make you gag and want to throw up. It does for me. Um, I am on the baby food stage, and I will be on this stage for another two weeks. So Friday will make one week I've been on it, and then I have two more weeks, so like around the 25th. And after that, I'm on stage four, which you can reintroduce your body 
to normal foods, I guess. Um, and see what you can tolerate and what you can't tolerate. I am looking forward to crab legs. However, I won't be able to eat a lot of them. Um, I think she said three ounces. Them gonna be the best three ounces of my life. Yeah, y'all yeah, just don't know. I, I'm looking forward to crab legs, and I can have crab legs because they're high in protein, low in fat. So you can have crab legs, shrimp, uh, salmon, pretty much any fish, uh, lean beef. The leaner, the better. I think they said you can have chicken. It's high in protein. Um, I'm not a pork eater, so. But anyway, I got in the shower <laughs> and I got my hair washed and that was as far as I can get. Like I picked it out. It looked rough. It ain't it didn't have anything in it. It is very dry. It looks rough. But um this is as far as I got. I picked out the front. And I just wanna shave it all off because nothing I can do with it. Because I've been I've been jacked up. I cooked yesterday. I felt like I was going to faint. That was the first time me cooking for my family. And my wife said, don't do it again. So, no more cooking until I feel A1. I bought them a lot of stuff that they can, they can make they sell. I am not taking the shots anymore, y'all. I am so happy about that. Them shots will drive you nuts. I got so many bruises on my stomach. And so many um little lumps from where you stick yourself at. Excuse me. Um, but if y'all have any comments, because this video is getting too long, y'all seen this the way it is coming off. Um, I started at the whole journey a year and a half ago, almost two years ago. I started at 552. When I went to the doctor, I was at like 447. This, I think that's where y'all seen me. Four, not four thirty-seven, four uh, fifty-seven, four something. The higher to four. Uh, I can't remember. If y'all remember, leave it in the comment. And when I went to, when we moved from Kansas here, I gained weight back. I was so upset with myself, but living in hotels and here and there and. You're doing what you got to do. You're not eating right. You're not going to the gym. You're not doing any of those things. So when I went to my pre-op, I was 444.2. When I went to have surgery the morning of, I was 418. After surgery, I was 420. And then the next night when she came in, I was 426. When I left the hospital, I was back to 418. Last week, I was 404. And this week, I am 397, you guys. <laughs> I appreciate you guys for rocking with me on my journey. I appreciate all the well wishes. Like I said, I hope y'all can hear because I talked seven minutes plus the bathroom clip. So I want to end it here. I'm going to FaceTime y'all back. If anybody in St. Louis want to come help your sister with her, please do so. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> but until next time, I'm going to FaceTime y'all back. Please pick up because I like talking to y'all.